Hey, what's up, guys? Guess what today is? Another fun episode of Cooking with Coal Cracker. Ah, I love these ones. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. That is right, another episode of Cooking with Coal Cracker where we get the campfire going and we cook something awesome. Today's dish, okay, it's really awesome and I'm super excited about it. So most of us love cooking in cast iron and it has to do with cast iron. Most of us love breakfast. Most of us love bacon. Most of us love pizza. So we combined all those things. So what we're gonna be making is tater tot breakfast pizza. It's an easy recipe, great for around camp, and uh, it's delicious. <laughs> So I found a little spot in the woods with lots of good firewood for my fire, somewhere comfortable in the shade because it is starting to warm up here finally in Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna get my fire going, get my trailer unpacked, get everything ready. But in the interim, I know you're just, you're waiting for the food. You are waiting for the food. So for our tater tot breakfast pizza, you're gonna need the following things. Again, this is a simple recipe, great for anytime. One bag of hash browns, if you can get the coin style type that are flat, all the better. Eggs, cheese, breakfast sausage, and bacon. So now as far as cookware goes for this, I went a little bit overboard and brought way more stuff than I would need. You can easily do this in a Dutch oven, um, but what I brought along, so I did bring two pans with me um, because I just had them and I'm going cast iron crazy recently. I do have my Dutch oven and I did bring my grill grate. Now what's nice about my Dutch oven and this pan that I have is that the Dutch oven lid fits over it perfectly so I can cover up the pan. That's what I'm gonna be primarily using for this recipe. So leave it to the guy who is teaching the cooking episode today to forget a spatula, but we're bushcrafters. So I grabbed a piece of wood, grabbed my ax, made something quick, at least just to get this sausage going here, <laughs> and then we could clean it up as we're sitting around. Perfect. So while my sausage continues to cook, I'm gonna start cracking my eggs. Um, depending on how big this recipe is, anywhere from six to a billion eggs will work. Um, so just sort of, just guesstimate. That's my best thing. Um, what I could say though, for what I'm cooking in, normal size cast iron pan, um, around 10 inches in diameter, about 10 eggs. So maybe, let's go with one egg per inch of the cast iron. I just totally made that up, but it sounds real good and it sounds super professional. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So my sausage now is all done. I let it even get a little bit browned up because that's how I like it. So um, what I'm gonna do now, because I'm gonna use the same pan for everything, is I'm gonna transfer that into um, another cast iron pan that I have. I was gonna be like a vessel, another cast iron pan that I have. And I'm gonna start cooking my bacon. So I actually changed my mind. My pan had a bunch of good grease, not that the bacon grease isn't gonna be delicious, but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just cook my scrambled eggs because I already have them scrambled and the bacon's still in the pack. So let's get this started and then, uh, then we'll move on to the bacon. All right, you crazy bushcrafters, eggs are done. I'm going to now put them back in the bowl I scrambled them in and then cook the bacon. So 
So our bacon, sausage, and eggs are all done. What I'm gonna do now is take my cast iron pan and scrape out some of this baked on stuff from the bacon. Okay, I don't know what you'd call this, right? So we're gonna get some of that out. We don't want all this grease in here, but I'm gonna utilize this grease to help me clean it up a little bit. And then we're gonna start laying in our tater tots. Okay, so here is my crust all laid out. Now, one thing with this is these tater tots in general give off some grease. So as you've seen earlier, I got rid of the bacon grease. Um, I do wanna cook these though, that they're pretty golden brown, maybe pushing a little bit dark spots. Like, I don't wanna say burnt, but maybe a little bit burnt to start holding some of that together. At the end of this whole recipe, of course, it's not gonna be something you can hold and eat, but you should be able to somewhat scoop it out. So the crust here is definitely browned. Some of them might even be pushing, getting a little bit burnt. So that's about perfect where I want it. Cause you gotta remember, this is gonna keep on cooking. So what I'm gonna do now with my platter is I'm going to take my crust. I'm gonna add some cheese on top of that. Then some sausage, a little bit more cheese. Then add our eggs. I did go ahead and cut the bacon into bacon bits. And then we're gonna to top it off with some more cheese. Cheese mania. Whew, look at that. Ugh. All right. So now what we're gonna do from this point is I still might heat my lid heating up. I'm gonna place my lid back on with hot coals. I am not gonna add this back to the fire because I don't want that bottom cast iron to cook any more um, of our crust. But I just want this cheese to get melted and then we should be good. So while my food is cooking, I just wanted to talk about my bike a little bit because you notice I brought a lot of gear in, so I needed a way to get it here. So this is the Ad Motor Wild Tan Electric Center Drive Bike, 1000 watts, super crazy powerful. What's cool though is I also got a trailer for it. So you know I love my e-bikes, you know I love to drive them all summer, I enjoy it tremendously. It's like my additional hobby outside of bushcraft. Um, so it's fun when I get a chance to take out different styles of e-bikes. Now what's cool about this bike, it's called a center drive bike. So what's different about a center drive bike if you're looking around at different bikes is that all of its power comes of course in the battery but it works right from between the pedals, okay? So right at the crank compared to the rear tire um, having a motor in it. So what this means is that you literally get more power. Um, it doesn't have to transfer anywhere. So as you're pedaling, the power is right there. Um, you're not just getting assist from the back tire. It's actually helping you push that, um, which using both style bikes, I can tell a huge difference in this one, especially off-road. This bike, of course, you can just hit the throttle and go full bore, or you can go pedal assist zero, which means there's no pedal assist, up to five which means maximum pedal assist. This does have bigger tires and really kick butt camo. It's pretty awesome. The trailer has a fast connect, so I pulled out the pin already. The pin literally just drops right in there. You pull out the pin and then it pulls out just like that. It is on a spring, so as you're going or you have to load this, if there's weight in there, um, it's very easy to get hooked back up to the bike. But when it's not on the bike, you just have this small little attachment here. Um, it doesn't get in the way and you're good to go. And then, of course, a rear rack, so you can always take a bungee cord in your backpack and put it on here, or if you have a little bit extra gear, in my case with the trailer, I had a ton of extra gear and a lot of cast iron, um, so I had it on here. Now, this all folds down, so if you do want to use this for hunting or anything like that, you just drop down these sides, and really easily you can put game on here and get the game out. Um, you can also probably pull this if you'd want to, if you didn't have your bike for some reason, to be able to just get stuff from point A to point B, but um, in my case, um, it'll just live with the bike pretty much. So if you're looking for a cool e-bike like this, um, I put the link below. It's the Add Motor Wild Tan Bike, um, center drive, the cool bike. You'll get a lot of good use out of it this summer. You'll enjoy it tremendously. All right, so this is gonna be the final reveal because Big Dog's gotta eat here. So let's uh, see what we're looking like. Look at that. 
That looks absolutely amazing. Alright, so let's break into this bad boy. Look at that. So this looks absolutely amazing. Um, look at, I pulled a part of the bottom crust off. Look at how perfect that came. So golden brown. So this thing doesn't hold together like a piece of pizza. What you could do though, if you wanted to, was smash all of those tater tots down and make more of a crust and you might be able to get to the point. Can we pick it up? Actually, listen, leave it up to Dan. I will pick this thing up and eat it like a piece of pizza. Look at that. <laughs> that is so delicious. This is awesome. There you go, fellow bushcrafters. There is our tater tot breakfast pizza. Absolutely wonderful dish. So good. I just can't wait to keep digging into it. But I had to finish up this, this video. So I'm going to dig back into that. I hope you enjoy this. Um, again, it's a fun recipe. It's something you can do with your family. You can also pre-prepare all the meat. So you can cook the bacon, cook the sausage. You could probably even scramble the eggs at home and then take the stuff out or do it the night before camp if you're not a morning person. Have everything prepared and then just build it heat it up and you'll be good to go so easy recipe um, I hope you give it a try if you do tag us um, if you put it on Instagram at hashtag stay in the woods so we can check it out let us know how you like it and um, yeah I, I'm like I keep eyeballing that up because I got to get back to it so with that said I'm gonna let everybody go I'm gonna get back to eating um, I hope you enjoyed this video as always check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for our merchandise and our classes also, if you like this, hit like and hit the subscribe button below. I greatly appreciate that. And until the next video, eat good and stay in the woods.